Take This Heart of Gold by Mandolin Orange is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the fifth fret of the guitar. The chords themselves are not that difficult, um, but there is a finger picking pattern, some very specific articulation of strings that make the song extraordinarily difficult to play uh, with fluidity. The chords themselves, though, the intro will be an A minor 7 walking up to a C major to an F chord to a C chord to a G chord and then that repeats A minor 7 to a C chord to an F chord to an A minor 7 chord to a G chord to an F chord so the way that you want to try to pull this off with picking though, it's a Travis picking pattern for almost the entire thing. The song itself is actually being played with a thumb pick on, but I don't have a thumb pick. But Travis picking is where your thumb is alternating pretty consistently between two notes, like. But rather than just having an alternating thumb, you are also Also picking with your first and your second fingers so that the picking pattern is basically thumb 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 first thumb second thumb first thumb thumb first thumb second thumb first thumb like that sort of feel with your um, thumb alternating in this A minor 7 between a 5 string and a 4 string. So let me try to explain how to walk through this song with the correct picking. The first movement is going to move from an A minor 7. This is an open 5 string, second finger on the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret, open 1 string, though you don't even hit the open 1 string here. You're going to pinch with your thumb and your second finger on strings 5 and 2. And then after the pinch, your thumb will hit the 4 string and your first finger will hit the 3 string. After your first finger hits that 3 string that's open, you need to hammer on with your second finger to the 5 string 2 fret. After you hammer on with your first, uh, after, I'm sorry, your second finger to the 5 string 2 fret, so after you hammer on with your second finger to the 5 string 2 fret, you need to put your pinky finger down on the 2 string 3 fret and immediately hit that with your second finger. And then you can, after your second finger hits that 2 string, your thumb can hit the open 4 string. And then we're going to, after pinky finger down on the 2 string 3 fret. We're going to move into a full C major chord with our ring finger on the 5 string 3 fret, second finger still on the 4 string 2 fret, or move back now to the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret, and an open 1 string. And in this C major chord, we want to pinch with our thumb on the 5 string and our second finger on the open 1 string so that we're emphasizing that open 1. The highs of what we're hearing is we're hearing, while the lows of what we're hearing need to be inside of the walk moving from the A minor 7 to a C chord. After, after pinching that thumb on the 5 string, the open 1 string, Thumb goes to the 4 string, and then first finger goes to the 3 string. After the first finger 3 string open, your ring finger needs to go to the 6 string 3 fret. Your thumb hits that, and then your second finger hits the open 2 string. G chord there before going to an F chord. So here 
here in this F chord, the way that you need to make it is your ring finger needs to be on the five string three fret, your pinky finger needs to be on the four string three fret, your second finger needs to be on the three string two fret, your first finger needs to be on the two string one fret, and then my thumb grabs the six string one fret. Here your thumb needs to alternate between the six string and the four string, while your first and second fingers are tagging strings three and two. So we've gotten the first part of the intro now very slowly. On the back half of that F chord, you need to lift your second finger off of the three string to expose the three string and then hit the two string. And then you move into a C chord. The C chord is going to be basically the exact same shape as your F chord. You're just moving your ring, pinky, and second fingers down one set of strings so that your ring finger's on the six string three fret, pinky finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, open one string. And here your thumb needs to be alternating between uh, the five string, basically the five string, two string, six string, I'm sorry, the five string, four string, six string, five string. So five, four, six, five, uh, five, four, six, four, five. After the C chord, it hits a quick A minor seven into a G chord. That A minor 7 again is going to be the open 5 string, second finger on the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret. So we've got that's lifting my second finger, moving to the C chord, A7, G. And then in this G chord, to hammer on with our second finger back into A minor position while leaving ring and pinky planted where they are. So that's my second finger hammering to the four string two fret, my first finger hammering to the two string one fret. That way whenever we pick up our ring finger and move back into this A minor seven, our pinky finger is already ready, is already ready to go on the one string three fret so that we can go that is pinching with your thumb on the open five string second finger is grabbing the two string then we're going thumb to the four string first finger to the three string back to the thumb on the five string and second finger hitting the one string after your second finger hits that one string three fret, you're going to move directly into a C major chord, moving your ring finger basically now just down to the five string three fret, but opening up the one string so that you can pinch with your thumb on the five string and your second finger on the one string and get that open chord, that open one string. So that we've emphasized Open up the two string again right there. And then back in the F chord. Another little hammer on there in the F chord with the three string open to three string two fret. And then we're going to go. So back to the A minor seven and we'll pinch the open five string and the open one string and then we'll put our pinky finger down on the one string three fret and then open up the one string again and then G chord G chord ring finger to the six string three fret but now our pinky finger needs to go to the two string three fret and we'll alternate 
alternate here between the thumb on the 6th string and the open 4th string, and then we'll hit the open 1 string. So we've gone, and then the F chord. And that's the first, that's the whole intro. That took so long to explain, but it's pretty intricate. Hopefully that helps you out. From there, the chords to the verse are just A minor 7, walking to the C chord, to the F chord, C chord, to the G chord, and then it walks up again from the A minor 7 to the C chord, to the F chord, the A minor 7, to the G chord, to the C chord, uh, to the F chord, and then um, so sometimes in this A minor 7 chord you can hear the rhythm go. That would be pinching on an open 5 string and also on an open 1 string, and then laying your first finger down uh, to bar the two string and the one string on the first fret together, and then opening up the one string again, and then back into that G chord, and down into the F chord. Um, and then the verse changes again to, actually that was the chorus, I guess, that we were just talking about. Whenever the verse comes along, the verse will be the C chord, to the F chord, the C chord to the A7 G chord to the A7 to the A7 to the G to the C to the F chord to the A7 chord to the G chord to the F chord and then I think it repeats like probably another intro feel. Alright, so those are the chords and the movements to take this Heart of Gold by Mandolin Orange. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.